Today we're drinking some Dragon's Milk Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout. It's 11.1% alcohol, and I've never tried it before, but I really do like the Bourbon Barrel Stout, so I'm give this one a shot. Nice and dark. What's up guys? Today we're going to be making some homemade soft pretzels and some beer cheese. So the ingredients for these pretzels is four teaspoons active dry yeast, one and a quarter cups warm water, five cups all-purpose flour, half cup white sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, half cup baking soda, four cups of hot water, and a quarter cup of kosher salt that we're gonna put on top. The first step here is going to be taking uh, my active yeast, pouring in the bowl here, and my salt. And I want to mix in a cup and a quarter of hot water. I'm just going to mix this up a little bit with my spoon, and I want to let this sit for approximately 12 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so we have our yeast and water right here. We're going to take our flour and dump it into this bowl here, and then add our kosher salt and sugar. Okay, now we're gonna take our water and yeast mixture and pour it straight in the bowl. And now we wanna start kneading this with our hands, working this up into a nice, smooth dough. Okay guys, it's been about 10 minutes that I've been working this dough up. As you can see, I got a nice chunk of dough now. And you wanna take a bowl, pretty large bowl, put some olive oil on the inside so it won't stick to it. And you want to place your dough inside of the bowl, just like that. Now, I'm going to let this sit for about an hour. I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap, set it to the side in an hour, and come back, and it should have risen by then. All right, guys, while I'm waiting for the uh, dough to rise, I'm going to make some beer cheese. Some beer cheese dip to go with the pretzels. It's going to be really good. So for the beer cheese, we're going to need 12 ounces of sharp cheddar one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch, 12 ounces of beer, five ounces of evaporated milk, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of hot sauce, and a little bit of kosher salt. We're gonna go ahead and throw the cornstarch in with our cheese, and then you wanna make sure you get yourself some sort of pan. In this pan, we wanna put our beer, our evaporated milk, a little bit of mustard, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Now we're gonna take this pot right here and put it on the stove and warm it up a little bit. Be sure to stir this up while it's heating up because you definitely don't want it to burn to the bottom. So every few minutes, just give it a little stir. Once your pan is bubbling, you wanna take it off the heat and now it's time to add in our cheese and cornstarch. Then go ahead and take a spoon and stir this up. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more cheddar cheese because that wasn't quite enough. A little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little taste test and if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and set it to the side. All right, folks, it's been one hour. Our uh, dough is risen, and now it's time to form our pretzel sticks. Now you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Get your bowl, take four cups of hot water, pour it in your bowl, take your baking soda, pour it in there, set it off to the side. Go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Now you want to spread some flour out over top of your uh, clean countertop for this next step. Now that we've got our countertop covered with the flour, we want to take our ball of dough and separate it into about 12 pieces. Now we can go ahead and form our pretzel sticks. Once you have all your pretzel sticks formed out on your table, 
you want to go ahead and dip them in your baking soda in warm water solution. So now we're going to dip each pretzel stick in the solution for just a second. Take it out, shake it off, place it on your pan. Now that our oven is preheated, we have our pretzel sticks on the pans. We're going to go ahead and stick them in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. While they're baking in the oven, we're gonna take about a stick and a half of butter and throw it in the microwave and melt it down. All right guys, we just got our pretzel sticks out of the oven. We've got our butter melted, so now we're gonna put a heavy coat of butter over top of all of our pretzel sticks. Now take your kosher salt and sprinkle some over your pretzel sticks. Alright guys, my pretzels are ready, my dip's ready, and my beer's ready to drink. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you give it a shot yourself. It takes roughly an hour and a half to two hours total time because you do have to let the dough uh, rise for about an hour. But trust me guys, it's worth it. These are freaking delicious. And I um, hope you guys have a good one. See ya.